something that we found on an exam paper. And it's really what they do with the required practicals and just change them around. So the question was to find the accurate volume of hydrogen produced from magnesium. Now, really to get accurate readings, you need to use equipment which has a very high resolution. So by that we mean the, res the definition of resolution, the smallest change in the quantity being measured of a measurement instrument that gives a noticeable change in the reading. So in the experiment, we will measure the, the mass of magnesium and we will measure the volume of hydrogen produced. So in this case, to get the highest resolution of the magnesium, we will use a top pan balance, which measures to, to one hundredth of a gram. So the piece of magnesium we're going to weigh has a mass of 0 0.06 grams. So to measure the volume of gas produced, I'm going to use a gas syringe which has a resolution of one centimetre cube, which is the, the best resolution that we can get. So in the experiment, I'm using my piece of magnesium, which was 0 0.06 grams. I'm going to add to that eight centimetre cube of one molar hydrochloric acid. And as soon as I've added the acid, I'm going to measure the volume of hydrogen which is being produced. Now, as you can see, as the hydrogen is produced, so it pushes the gas syringe out, so we can measure the volume of gas which is collected. As you can see now, the, the magnesium has all fully dissolved, and we're, not, we're no longer producing any hydrogen. So if I read off from the gas syringe, from this we're producing 50... 55 centimetre cube of hydrogen. Now, in reality, to get, to get uh, accurate results, what we would have to do would be to repeat this twice more using exactly the same conditions. 0.6 of a gram of magnesium and 8 centimetre cube of 1 molar hydrochloric acid. If there are any anomalous results, we would ignore them and use results which are close together because the definition of precision is that there is very little spread of, of the results. So they're all very close to the mean value.